I want to share with you a few of my favorite applique tools. And start with the Bowen needles. I like the size 10 long needle because it has a little bit of flex to it and it also is thin enough and sharp enough to just pick up those one to three threads right at the edge of your applique. I also like the Bowen threader. It's very accurate and almost always gets the thread through for you very quickly. Next, you're gonna want some applique pins because they're short and they stay out of your way. You're gonna want a nice sharp pair of embroidery scissors to really get in close to your applique. And I really like these Superior Threads Masterpiece Cotton Bobbin Spools because they're really great to take on the go and all the thread stays put in these bobbin savers. All right, so we're gonna start. First you want to take your bobbin of thread that you've chosen. And what you wanna do is take about an 18 inch long or from the tip of your fingertips down to your elbow of thread. If you go much longer, then it's going to get cumbersome and tangle more easily. Next, you will cut the thread at a 45 degree angle. This prevents some of the fraying and knotting. Next, you're going to take your needle and put the eye side down on the small end of your bow and needle threader. Next, you take the cut end of your thread and place it firmly inside the needle threader. Then you just push the button and it pops out a little loop. And you can just take it right out, but I recommend just grabbing that loop and pulling it through because sometimes you'll lose it. And pull it right through. And another good tip you always want to remember is that you want to both thread and knot from the cut end. That helps keep some of the knotting to a minimum. So just pull that short end down so it's now the long end. Now I'm going to give you a quick, easy way to put a knot into your thread. You take the cut end and you bring it up so it's parallel to your needle. You're going to grab it with your right hand. Then you take this loose end and you wrap it around three or four times. Then you're going to pull it down and grab it and grab this side of the needle with your left hand. And then you just pull. You should get a perfect knot every time. And once you practice that a few times, you should get really fast at it. And then my other tip is also to do about four or five needles at a time, depending on how much you're appliqueing. That way you don't have to keep stopping in the middle of your applique. And it just makes it a lot more efficient and faster for you. Next, I'm going to show you how to do a few stitches. So you're going to take your needle, and I've chosen a blue thread just so you can see a little bit easier. And you're just going to sweep under with your needle the edge of the fabric to where your drawn line is. Then you just want to pick up the one to three threads right at the edge right there. And you always want to pull the needle in the direction you're sewing. If you pull to the right or backwards, then you get more twisting and more possibility for knotting. Again, you can also just hold it there with your thumb, pull it through. And it just goes fast and easy like that. So I hope that you have enjoyed being here with us today and happy quilting.